worst couples ever. What's going on guys, Shaq Clips here once again, and this watch out some wild clips of the worst couples I can find. But in this first one guys, it is absolutely terrible and so sad. Basically we have this girlfriend over here, she's literally listening to her boyfriend say that he flew out another girl and he loves her. What a horrible human being, I feel so bad for her. Did I say Mercedes is coming down here? No. She's the thing. In three months. And she. And I bought her a plane ticket. Hmm? I bought her a plane ticket. I love her. Hmm. In this next one, we have this woman over here. She's absolutely delusional, saying she wants a man who makes over 300k a year. Now, I'm so happy that man exists like Kevin Samuels to humble these women because I'm not sure what she thinks or what she expects. She's saying she just can't have that kind of lifestyle. What makes you think you earned it, first off? Like, a million other women say the exact same thing as you. What differentiates you from them? I don't get it. This woman will probably grow old to like 40 to 50 and not realize it till it's too late. A man who makes 100,000, 300,000 a year, that's good money. But for my specific life goals, at 24, with plenty man, of The way you're talking is like, you say you got a lot of options, but not for the kind and caliber men you're talking about, not that kind of money. You may have a lot of options for dudes making, you know, average money, but not for no man talking about three, four hundred thousand dollars a year. Absolutely <laughs> not. Absolutely not. Not here in Atlanta. Well, like I said, for my life goals, a man who makes a hundred thousand, three hundred thousand a year—that's cool. That's good money, but that's not enough money for me to say I'm stopping what I'm doing and only your cares matter. What I want to do for my family, what my goals are. This is a single. Now to let you guys know what I mean by this girl will probably be too old to realize it. Here's a woman who actually did realize it when it was just too late. She's fifty years old and she's literally trying to find love, and it's super hard for her because well, she's a successful independent woman, and now I guess it's just too late for her to find genuine love. And this is literally what's gonna happen to majority of women because they're just being too picky and think they can get the top point zero zero one percent of men that just never come. It comes in waves. Most of the time. I'm okay. And then it comes and hits me like nobody's business. And honestly, I've been feeling like this a lot lately. It, it's love. I am, I'm tired. I'm tired of doing it myself. I'm tired of being alone. I want to share my life with someone. I am just freaking tired. I want to be in love. I want to share my life with someone. I want to feel the joys. I want to feel, have my hands held. I want to be held. I want to kiss. I want to support. I want, I want my person. Why is it so hard to find your person? You know, it's really hard when love, love is the, the one thing you can't force. You can't, you can't make it happen. Where is it? Where is it? I'm so ready. And I have a beautiful life waiting for the perfect man to show up. But where is he? I'm 53. Damn! And I just can't believe that I'm sitting here and it has been several years. I, I think it was over a year I had a date and then it's been several years since then. Where are all the good men that are ready and want to build a beautiful life together? Where are now, for everybody to understand how often this actually happens, here's another woman once again complaining on social media that there is actually a really good guy and that he's actually everything she's looking for, but she's just not into him. Now, I'm not saying you have to force yourself to fall in love with somebody, but if you keep having these super high standards, you will literally die single. So last night, I ended things with a guy that in one of my previous videos, I had referred to as the most intentional man I've ever spoken to. It really does suck because he truly is amazing, um, has a lot of the things I'm looking for in a person, um, but we hung out like six or seven times and I just wasn't feeling it. And it's just really a shame because he really is a great guy and I wish that I could just make myself have feelings, but I just can't. And he's so great. I didn't want to just keep stringing him along because he had voiced that, you know, he's looking for a relationship and he made it very clear how he felt about me. And I just felt really badly about 
making it go on any longer when I just knew it wasn't there for me. And this sex was absolutely horrible. I'm not sure whose idea this was, but this wedding kind of sucked after this happened to somebody. <laughs> And this sex with this woman needs to stop doing this. I'm not sure if this is a prank or a joke. This is absolutely disgusting if this man really did this behind her back. I guess she's perfectly fine with her man cheating on her and she still wants to show him affection even though she got cheated on. Babe, I cheated on you last night. Was it good? I said, babe, I cheated on you last night. I know, I'm saying, was it good? No, I didn't cheat on a diet. I cheated on you last night. Yeah, I know. I'm saying, was it good? <laughs> well, I didn't really cheat, but since now I know it's okay, I guess I can go do it today, right? And this next one, I'm not sure if this is real or not, but this is real. This is absolutely insane. And someone really just needs to tell this woman to never come on this property again. I guess this guy ended up breaking up with this girl. Now his ex is still appearing at the crib to jump in the pool. Do you guys really think she cares about the pool? She definitely doesn't. She just wants to be there for her man so she can try winning him back. Girl, to get out of our Sorry, pool. just let her be. No, dude, they broke up. Where is she? Who cares? Hi. Um, uh, do you have any more white clouds, by the way? I'm what? Right now. Do you mind? Are you for real? Hey, like, um, I didn't think anyone was home. Yeah, well, we're home. Do you mind if I, like, stay in the pool? Because it's really hot outside. Um, yeah, I guess. Oh my god, okay! Oh my god, mom, she's asking me to get her our drinks, mom. She's literally using our pool and now she wants our food! And this next one, thankfully we have Sneak over here who ended up humbling this woman completely. I really do hate when women call fat women or just obese women beautiful because deep down they understand that they're not beautiful. They're just trying to say that to, I guess, boost their confidence, which isn't a good thing. Thankfully, Sneeko asked this girl a really good question and she, I guess she just immediately contradicted herself. This one's so beautiful. It's just her body, it's it. What? Oh, what? Is it yes or no she question? She's beautiful. She's beautiful? She's beautiful. Okay. But it's her body. How would you but feel I if I said, you look like Lizzo? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. How'd you say she's beautiful, so why you can't look like Lizzo? Do you see, the, do you see the double standard right there? Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. exactly. The body. The body. I ju you just said Lizzo's beautiful. Yeah. I said Lizzo's you look like Lizzo. And you're like, nah, this has to. You said Lizzo's beautiful. It doesn't matter what part of you looks like Lizzo, except the compliment. She's beautiful. Psychological warfare on her. In this section, we have this man over here who literally contradicts himself once again. I'm not sure why men like to say this on the internet, but realize deep down that they do care. You guys think a woman's body count matters? Honestly, me personally? Nah, I definitely don't. Come on now, dawg. Girl has a hundred bodies, you put a ring on it? Whoa, wait, 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 wait. You my age and you 19 with a hundred bodies? I'm sorry, that count. Nah, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. In this section, we have this Karen over here who thinks she can run the entire street and I guess everybody. She also made a huge bluff and a lie that somebody else ended up calling her about. Actually doing. This suit doesn't fit. You can't record without people knowing. Let's see what's in here. Mmm, nothing. So turn it off and delete my video. What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? This? We're just having a conversation here. Right, it's yeah. Public. It's public. Yeah, this is public. It's a public Hold sidewalk. And they're recording you. Do you know that? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. You delete the film. Yeah, you already page. deleted it. Yeah, okay. And maybe get a better story because whatever you're doing, it's not adding up. And this next one is absolutely disappointing. I'm not sure how I can have your sister do these kind of things. I would absolutely tell my parents and let her get kicked out. Hey, Alex, I bet you $20 I can get you to clean my room using only two words. What? OnlyFans. You have an OnlyFans account? <laughs> Who wants ice cream? <laughs> gotcha, bitch! Now, the worst clip on the list, guys, basically we have this man over here. He's ended up getting yelled at by this crazy, disrespectful woman. Thankfully, he actually stood his ground and didn't do anything. But, guys, if she screamed at the wrong man, she could have got easily, easily punched in the face for this. But, like I said, she's lucky for not messing with the wrong man.
Well, that does it for you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.